YouTube, it's your boy 3926 Sean, man. In today's video, I will be telling y'all how much I paid for my Dodge Charger Scat Pack at the age of 21. You feel me? Well, I got this car at the age of 20. Did I? Damn. Yeah, I think I yeah, I think I did. Yeah, I think I got the car at the age of 20. My mind bad. I'm sure. But yeah, so I check out now washing my car, whatever you feel me. Got the rims looking good, tires looking good, car clean for real, for real. I might finna put my Nova stretch on. Cause these rock chips been killing me, bro. Man, they they been killing me, bro. They they already been messing up my rap. And for these Mustang drivers, bro, whoever's on that highway, you damage my car, fool. And when I find you, I'ma get with you, no cap. But um, yeah, bro, I need a phone mount, so I'ma. Go to Walmart, go get a phone mount, prop it up beside my car. So I can prop my phone up and I'm gonna be driving, I'll be talking to y'all or whatever. So, but yeah, hold on. Before I forget, get y'all a little warm start, you feel me? And a cold start, cause my car already started. All right, YouTube, I'm back. So I got my phone mount so I can prop it up and drive at the same time, I gotta get where I gotta go. So, like I was saying, man, so y'all want to know how much I paid for the scat pack. But first, I'm going to be telling y'all how much I put down, you know what I'm saying, my credit score when I went up and up, did I have a co-signer, uh, I'm going to include gas and maintenance and everything too, so, so y'all can get the whole idea or whatever. So, pretty much, man. I want to say, yeah, it was October, no, was it, it was, yeah, it was October, bro, October 2020, you know what I'm saying, well, I was 20 years old at the time, now I'm 21, so it was October 2020, um, me and my boy, EJ, we was out in California, you feel me, keep in mind, I was, I had so much money saved up, I had, I had a lot of money saved up, so I was like, you know what, I ain't really been splurging on myself, so I might as well take the trail to Cali. So, you know what I'm saying? With the San Francisco. So, me and my boy, EJ, we went to California, you know what I'm saying? So, while I'm out there in Cali, I'm spending to a bare minimum, bro. Like, a bare minimum, bro. Because, keep in mind, I still wanted to drop this scat when I came back home. You feel me? Or whatever. So, pretty much, while I'm out there in Cali, I get a phone call from my dad. My dad, he was like, hey, he was like, man, you know they got the uh, horsepower discount going on. This is when they was pushing that horsepower discount big, like in 2020. Like pretty much whatever car you want, say if you want a scat, and you know scat pack horsepower is like 485. So you know you get four thousand eight hundred fifty dollars off. If you wanted a Hellcat, you know what I'm saying, you get the you 707 horsepower. So yeah, but pretty much he was like, yeah, man, they got a um horsepower discount going on bro he was like man it might be the time for you to drop so i was like right, everything looking good i might as well i had like, hey, such such say it up well i go in there you feel me i walk in there i'm sitting down first thing i see i see a wide body scat pack. i see a wide body you feel me it was blue so i was like oh i gotta hop on that you feel me i gotta hop on that so i go in there you know what I'm saying? Oh, dude, show me the features of the car. I already know every feature of the car. I've been studying these cars, bro. Like, I've been in the books. You feel me? So I'm telling him everything I already know. He was like, okay. You feel me? So he was like, all right, let's go inside. You know, let's work some numbers and stuff like that. See, can you get in that wide body to drive off the lot? That's what I wanted. The wide body had like 396 miles. Brand new. When I say brand new, bro, brand new. Haven't even been broken into. So I'm like, all right, bet. So we go inside. You feel me? I'm talking about some people looking at the car. Like, You feel me? We crunch your numbers and everything. But these people really trying to keep up with me. <laughs> I'm not gonna do them job, bro. Yeah, so um, we crunch your numbers and stuff. You feel me? And for the wide body scat, it was not, not looking too good. They wanted too much, bro. They wanted like seven. They wanted like seven eighty six, bro. Seven eighty six. And that wasn't even included taxes or anything, bro. And I, I was like, bro, I be damn if I pay like almost, you know. 800 for a scat, bro. If I'm finna pay that much, I might as well go get that cat, bro. You feel me? So, um, 
yeah, at this point, I was like, man, skip the um, skip the wide body, bro. That's too much money for me. You feel me? Honestly, I, I'm not finna, I'm not finna pay for that. That junk dead, bro. So he set me down. He was like, all right, bro. He was like, man, I got you, bro. We gon', we gon' look some up. We gon' look some up. So at this point, bro, we in the dealership for hours, bro. We in the dealership for hours looking for the car that I want, bro. So um, they finally found this one. You feel me? It was a 2019. Dodge Charge Scat Pack, 17,000 miles or whatever. They wanted 45k for the car. You feel me? But with the dis with the discount, it came down to 41. But we talked them down a little bit, so it came out 40,000 flat. So I walked out 40,000 flat off the dealership. Not with this car, cause they had to deliver. They had to deliver it. It was in Georgia, so they have a ship. They had to ship it in for Georgia. So I put down. Twelve thousand. I put down twelve thousand. The reason why I put down twelve thousand, because honestly, I walked in there with zero credit, bro. Just with a cosign. I had faith, nigga. You know me. I had faith, bro. I walked in there with zero credit with a cosigner, and my cosigner credit was good enough. And so, I put down twelve k. You feel me? I put down that twelve k, and the dude came back was like, "All right, boom. Your own monthly payment seven hundred. I'm like, "Bro, you." You want this? You want this money, bro? You gonna lower it to where I wanted to be at? So it's like, I right, bet. Keep in mind, bro. Do not sign any paper that they bring to you. Read first, bro, cause that's how they get you, bro. Read first. So dude, come back. He slapped down the paper again. He was like, I right, twelve thousand now. You looking at um? What he said? He said you looking at seven, seven some, seven some. So I was like, bro, I'm not trying to pay seven something. You feel? I was like, this junk dead. So I was like, bro, work your magic, bro, because I'm not for the pay seven something. So he's like, I right, bet, bet. He was like, alright, hold on. So he come back again with another paper. Tell me why it went from seven something to five eighty seven. They should be trying to get over you, bro. That's all it is. They try to get over you, bro. So take your time. Dude came back. He was like, alright, five eighty seven. So I was like, we could do that. I will pay five eighty seven. So you know, with taxes involved, you know what I'm saying. Um, gap, you know, gap insurance, um, you know, warranties and stuff like that. So the price that I pay for my scat now a month, bro, is six hundred and forty-two dollars. Six hundred and forty-two dollars, bro. But what I recommend you to do for real, for real, bro, if you finna go buy a scat Hellcat RT GT XXT, it don't matter, bro. Any Camaro SS, it don't matter. I advise you to go through your bank. Get like a credit union, because a credit union gonna help you out. Get a credit union, tell them to match numbers with the dealership. If they can match numbers, let the credit union buy out the own um, dealership, bro. And the credit union gonna set a decent APR, and they gonna also set a decent month monthly payment for you. And it's gonna help build your credit. So that's what I was trying to do, but I couldn't do it at the time or whatever. So I had to go through the dealership. So right now, yeah, I am paying six forty two a month for my car. Also, assurance wise, bro, assurance wise, you know, I went around looking for assurance, bro. Every place wanted like nine hundred a month, eight hundred a month. I was like, bro, even Geico wanted like a thousand, bro. I was like, bro, y'all got me messed up, bro. I'm not finna pay a thousand a month, bro. That's you know, dead for assurance. So yep, did put my dupes on insurance. You know what I'm saying? And that junk dropped. It dropped. So right now my insurance is two eighty six. So two eighty six six forty two. You want to do the math? It is what it is. So um, I thugged it out for a year with the dealership because I did have my car for a year and three months. So actually now I am going through my bank now. I'm refinancing my car. So with me work refinancing my car, come next week I will give y'all when I I'll give y'all the update now. Come next week, I will will be paying five oh eight for my car. So five oh eight for the note and two eighty six for the insurance. So and the way I got that set up as you know they take two forty two out the first check, two forty two out the second check. All right, pause real quick. My mans can't count. I can't do division. I meant two fifty four each check, bro. Every check they take two fifty four. And then my second check, they take another 254, which totals us to 508. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking, but man, I can't count. 
All right. So, boom. It's easy as that, bro. You're not even going to see the money. They're going to take the money, and you're not even going to see it. So, honestly. So, yeah. Start next week. I will be paying 508 for my um for my car note, and I'll still be paying 286 for the uh, insurance. Gas, bro. Gas. It is bad. But... Yeah, once you want, when you first get the car, bro, you're gonna want to floor it. You're gonna want to floor it all the time. You're gonna want to push that bit all the time. You feel me? I understand that. When I first got the car, bro, I got insurance on that. And my homies was in the city. I said, bro, come out, bro. We finna go city rolling. I went city rolling the whole day. I kid you not, bro. Hold on. I kid you not, though, bro. That first, that first week of me getting my car, bro, I at least, I kid you not. I at least spent almost two hundred to three hundred dollars in gas. I kid you not. I kid you not. Cause I was just city road. I just got the scat, bro. I was happy. You know what I'm saying? I was happy. But other than that, though, bro, once you, you know, like you gonna punch this car anytime. Like it's a fun car to drive. You gonna want to punch it. But like once you maintain it and everything, bro. I kid you not. I go to the gas station once every week. I kid you not. Once every week, bro. Because majority of the time, I go to work, home, Monday through Friday, and on the weekend, I'm out. So, when the weekend come around, well, yeah, when Friday come around, I fill up, I'm good. And then, that'll last me all the way probably like Wednesday, and then I fill up or whatever, you feel me? And I'll be thugging out. So, I'll say gas a month, I'll probably spend 90 90 to 120 a month in gas. So we got 90 to 120 a month in gas, bro. And also my um my APR is it's low. It's pretty low for my age, you know what I'm saying? And for the amount I put down, my APR is four four something. I wanna say. Yeah, like four something, whatever I wanna say. But tires, bro, and maintenance or whatever. Maintenance, bro, I don't pay a dime. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I don't pay a dime. That warranty, abuse your warranty, bro. I don't care what nobody say. Abuse your warranty. Every time I go to the dealership, if something wrong with my car, I go slap it up to the dealership and I walk out with a smile on my face because guess what? I'm not paying for anything. They gonna fix it for the free. You feel me? So if you got a warranty on your car, abuse that warranty, bro. Use that warranty to the max. I kid you not. It's gonna come in handy. So tires and stuff like that, yeah. Tires are a big problem with me because as y'all know, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm a slider, bro. I like to slide. I like to do burnouts. I like to do donuts. It's fun. I like to do hood rat stuff with my friends. So tires, I kid you not, bro. I just spent 700 on some tires. I ain't gonna lie to you. I just spent 700 on some tires. But if I wanted to do the math, bro, throughout the year of how much I paid for tires, bro, let me see. It been by two racks, bro. You shouldn't be going, you shouldn't spend two racks on no tires in one month. Not one month, but one year, bro. You should not, that is not normal. I kid you not, that is not normal. So don't be like me, bro. Most of my money ain't gonna lie went to tires, bro. But now I got a tire connection. These people driving stupid, you hit me, it is what it is. But um, I got a tire connection now. So if I do wanna do burnouts, bro, it's just, I should pay $60 a tire. For six dollars for both tires, and I just scorched them bitches off. It is what it is. But I ain't gonna lie, that's pretty much for the video, though, bro. So I was paying six forty two, but now I'm paying five hundred eight. My insurance is two eighty six. Gas um, for a month, gas a month, I pay ninety to one twenty. That's just an estimate. Um, if you ain't really big on burning tires, bro, tires shouldn't really be a problem to you, for real, for real, if I'm being honest. And I walked out paying 40000 flat. So, yeah, that's 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 pretty much, bro. You If you got a full-time job, bro, you can afford a scat, bro. I kid you not. You can afford a scat. And even if you don't got no credit, but if you got a co-signer, bro, still, still take the risk and do it. Because I kid you not, since I got this car, bro, my credit has shot up like buku, bro. Like my credit has skyrocketed, bro. And my credit is so good to the point. Well, I ain't, I ain't gonna say it's so good, but it's good enough that it's good enough that I can go get a Hellcat. You feel me? So if you ain't got no credit, bro, you got a co-signer, do it. 
put your money down. You might have to put down a big down payment or whatever. But credit is key. I kid you not. Because I'm planning smart on my next road since I'm going to go Hellcat. Credit is key, bro. So right now, I am focusing on my credit and stuff like that. And if you walking up with like 700 to 800 credits, go, bro, I kid you not. You won't have to put nothing down for it. You could probably put down 2000 and walk out with a cat, bro. Or walk out with a scat. But yeah, your cardinal might be a little bit higher. You feel me? Unless you got trade into. You got trade into you straight. But other than that, bro, I even advise, like, say you walking out with like 800 credit score, you want a cat. Like, right, you can walk out with zero down. Don't don't take that, bro. Don't take that. Your cardinal is going to be high. Your cardinal might be 900 to 1,000 a month with a cat or a scat. I'd advise you the least. If you got a trade in, use that as a down payment. If say if you get six thousand back, seven thousand back, put that as a down payment, bro. Lower your car note, please. Lower your car note. Or if you say you got some money left over too, bro, you trade the car in, you put your money down to lower your car note. Lower your car note, bro. That's a big thing to me. Cause most people like. Oh, you bought car forty thousand, but your APR is this, so you're gonna end up paying like fifty thousand. You're not gonna keep the car for for all them years, bro. Definitely, if you got a scat, you gonna keep the car for a year or two and get rid of it and go drop a Hellcat. So, it is what it is. But that's it for the video, bro. Like I said, I pay six. Used to pay six forty two, but now I'm paying five hundred eight. The sharing's at two eighty six. Gas a month ninety to one twenty. Tires. I'm doing better on tires, and I'm not blowing through money on tires or whatever. Um. Plus accessories too, like whatever you want to add to your car. Like I got this steering wheel. The steering wheel was like about a band. Um, I got my car wrap. It was fifteen hundred. What else, bro? New rims. That was twelve hundred. Yeah, I just got some new tire. That was seven hundred. But yeah, other than that, bro, that's it for the video. So now y'all know how much I pay a month for my car. Y'all can stop asking me because I get a lot of DMs on Instagram. But I catch y'all on the next video. Yeah.